Hello students, my name is Professor Ozone and today I'm going to explain the science behind climate change. We exhale carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. Without CO2, we would be cold. Carbon dioxide is necessary to keep the earth warm enough to support life. The burning of fossil fuels, which Dino Girl will talk more about later, produces so much CO2 that it has become dangerous. Ever since the Industrial Revolution in the 1700s, the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere has skyrocketed. The average global temperature has gone up almost 2 degrees Fahrenheit, and you can help us to slow it down. Hi there, I'm Dino Girl, and I'm here to investigate and talk about fossil fuels. Dino Girl is a scientist who knows all about the effects of fossil fuels on the environment. First, we will go and see what kind of things use fossil fuels every day. Airplanes use fossil fuels because they need fuel to fly around in the sky. How do we get fuel for planes? Fuel is made from oil that we must drill down into the ground to get. Coal can be used in the production of electricity. Both coal and oil are an essential fossil fuel that we use every day. How does harvesting fossil fuels affect the environment? Let's take a look. Fossil fuels have a large impact on wildlife. They reduce the amount of wild areas. Accidents happen when collecting fossil fuels. There can be spills and that makes the surrounding environment polluted. Both drilling and mining require moving of soil and destruction of natural habitat. One of the most common ways to get fossil fuels is drilling for oil. Mining is another way to retrie retrieve fossil fuels such as coal. Does harvesting fossil fuels has an have an effect on the animals that live there? To harvest the oil and coal, sometimes trees must be removed or large mines must be dug to reach the carbon. This has an effect on the animals that live in the area, altering their habitat. Have you ever lit a fire and observed the smoke? Burning fossil fuels is kind of the same. Instead of smoke, chemicals are released into the air. These chemicals are known as greenhouse gases. The burning of coal for energy can emit carbon into the atmosphere, and the organisms in the air also receive that pollutant. Fossil fuels are made of fossils of long dead plants and animals such as dinosaurs. Fossils take a long time to make. Do you think there is a better, safer way to obtain energy? Hey kids, I'm Special Agent Green, and I'm here to investigate this deforestation crisis. Deforestation is when trees are cut down to make room for more land to be used, and this is very scary because many areas will soon look like this. The cutting of trees causes billions of carbon dioxide to be released into the air. Did you know about 20% of the world greenhouse gas emissions are a result of deforestation? Unfortunately, the levels of pollution caused by us humans are rising, and we need your help to save these trees. If there are no trees to keep the clouds in check, then the sunbeams can't bounce back into space and they're just trapped on Earth. This is why temperatures ever are going up uncontrollably, causing more global warming. You see, all the trees within the forest help maintain the Earth's temperature and weather, and deforestation will cause about 20% of our oxygen to be gone. When these trees disappear, so many animals lose their homes. The removal of trees and other vegetation reduces available food, shelter, and water for these species to survive. Up to 400 to 20 million acres of forest land is expected to be lost in about 10 years. To further solve this case, we need to come up with ways to help reduce deforestation. Okay. I need you and your friends to go out to your backyard and start planting trees. This small doing will make a big impact. Planting more trees fights global warming and climate change and helps preserve the Earth's ecosystems. As trees grow, they help stop climate change by removing carbon dioxide from the air, storing carbon in the trees and soil, and releasing oxygen to the atmosphere. Another way to solve this deforestation crisis is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Hi there everyone, Mitigation Mistress here, coming at you live from the Mitigation Mobile. I'm here today to talk to you all about how you can help save our Earth. First of all, we all need to work together to reduce our carbon footprint. You may be doing little things at home that are helpful and not even realize it. Here's one you've probably heard a thousand times. Reduce, reuse, recycle. When you reduce, you're downsizing what you purchase. For example, buying milk in a cardboard carton rather than in a plastic one. When you reuse, you're finding ways to keep reusable items out of the landfills. Instead of throwing that old cardboard box away, turn it into something else. Finally, you should recycle. Recyclable materials are paper, plastic, glass, and aluminum. Don't throw away that soda can. Instead, throw it into the recycling bin. Second, ride your bike more and drive your car less. If you can, you should opt to use transportation that doesn't emit toxins into the air. Third, conserve water. This is more of a lifestyle change, but I promise you there are very easy changes. Turn off the sink while you brush your teeth. Take fewer baths and shorter showers. Stop flushing things down the toilet to dispose of them unless you absolutely have to. And switch to reusables. Finally, use less energy and switch to more sustainable energy sources. To do this, unplug things from the outlets when you aren't using them, turn off lights when you aren't in the room, and invest in more energy efficient products. Sustainable energy sources are solar power, wind power, hydropower, and geothermal energy. 
Hey kids, I'm National Security Nat. I'm going to be telling you about how national security plays a role in global climate change. The worldwide threat assessment of the U.S. intelligence community concludes that climate change will affect our competition for resources, economic distress, and social discontent from now until beyond. Weather plays an important role on the execution of missions. If there is a flood or drought, this can complicate missions. This can decrease numbers of outdoor events, meaning they can be delayed or canceled. Another thing affected by climate change is the military. If bases are located near the coast, it could face risks of rising sea levels and major storms hitting the area. Climate change can put a huge burden on the Department of Defense. Extreme weather can cause a big increase in the need for help from personnel. This means when disasters happen, we all need the help we can get, and it will take a lot of money and people to do so. So in conclusion, climate change increases the cost of everything and can really impact our national security. Help keep our planet clean and our country safe.